Hello, today I will be explaining how to perform a titration. Um, to perform a titration, you will need an Erlenmeyer flask, a um, volumetric pipette. For this one specifically, you will need a 25 milliliter one, um, a barrette, a ring stand with a clamp, a 250 milliliter beaker, a waste beaker, and a pipette bulb. For this example specifically, we will be dealing with hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Just keep in mind that these chemicals are corrosive and will cause irritation to the eyes or skin if they do come in contact. So make sure to be wearing your 100% cotton lab coat and gloves and goggles at all times. We will need to obtain 200 milliliters of the hydrochloric acid and that the molarity of the sodium hydroxide is 0 0.1500 and obviously that we will be using a 25 milliliter volumetric pipette. To set up for your titration, um, you will need to prepare your barrette and you will do this by rinsing it once or twice with the DI water by um, tilting it, making sure it goes all around and then just releasing that into your waste beaker. Then you're gonna wanna rinse your barrette with the base that you are using, which in this case is the sodium hydroxide. And you will do the same thing, making sure you tilt it all around and then um, pouring it down your waist, into your waste beaker as well. Then you're going to want to place the barrette on the clamp and fill the barrette with the sodium hydroxide. Place your waste beaker under the barrette and let it run until there's no more air bubbles. Grab your volumetric pipette, grab your pipette bowl and start pipetting until the bottom of the meniscus at eye level is hitting the line just for precision. Once you're successful with the pipetting, you are gonna release the liquid into your Erlenmeyer flask. And that's when you will add your um, two to three drops of your indicator that you are using. Then you're gonna want to place your flask under the barrette and open the stopcock. You will know you will reach the end point of the titration once you see that color change um, and repeat the titration four times. Remember that you're going to want to record the volume of the acid and you're going to also want to record the initial and final barrette readings at eye level, um, making sure you're reading um, from the bottom of the meniscus. You record the volume of the base used and record the endpoint color. First, you're going to want to calculate the volume of the sodium hydroxide used. To do that, you will subtract the initial um, barrette reading from the final barrette reading. You will also need to calculate the volume of the sodium hydroxide and turn it into liters because it's in milliliters. Next, you're going to want to calculate the moles of the hydrochloric acid. For that, you're going to do that for each um, titration that you did. You're going to put the milliliters of the sodium hydroxide that you used and then again, convert it to liters. And then from there, you're gonna multiply that by the molarity of the NaOH and divide it by one liter of NaOH and then multiply 101 because it's a 101 ratio. And that should give you the moles of hydrochloric acid. Then you're gonna calculate the molarity of the hydrochloric acid. From that, you're gonna use what you got up here, the moles of hydrochloric acid and divide that by the 0 0.025 um, liters of hydrochloric acid. And like I said, remember to convert the 25 milliliters to liters by dividing by 1,000. And then you're going to want to calculate the average molarity of the hydrochloric acid. And to do that, you will um, sum up all of the molarity um, values that you got up here and divide that by 4 which is, should be all of your four titrations that you did. Lastly, to clean up, you are going to um, dispose of your chemical waste, which should all be in a beaker, and put it in the bucket that is labeled um, chemical waste by in your instructor. And then you are going to want to rinse every piece of glassware used well with water, um, lastly, you will want to dry up your glassware and put it back into your drawer and then just clean off your space and that should be it.